Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. I'm Stefano from Soto Zen channel and I will show you how I made this visual effect using Blender. This comes from our last short film that we made for fun and that you can watch it following this link here. We have this concrete floor that crashes down under the mighty fist of my friend Alberto and there are different aspect in this project like the masking process the camera tracking but in this video i will uh, focus only on the simulation part here we are in blender and this is the scene that i use for the final render if i hit play you can see what's going on here we have this object that moves along this cracked line and this object is also the trigger for the simulation of all these small pieces that start to interact together and falls down in the crack below before i continue on showing you how to do this let me show you some very useful option that you have here under this background image panel when working like me in this case with background footage you will find very useful to switch from this back option to the front and then to adjust this opacity slider until you are satisfied and in this mixed view mode now you can see how much easier and useful it is to see what's going on between your foreground and the background, especially when you have to adjust the timing of the interaction between your CGI elements and the background footage, this comes very handy. So don't forget about this bunch of very useful and cool options that Blender has down here. And with this said, let's jump back to the perspective view and let me explain some basic concept about um, simulation in blender in blender in order to have some sort of uh, simulation based on physics forces you must tell the software which will be all the object that will take part in this simulation and this kind of object are called rigid body now rigid body can be passive or active and the difference between them is that both of them will interact together during the simulation but only the active rigid bodies will be also influenced by external forces like gravity or wind or vortex or whatever you have in, in the scene instead all the passive rigid body will stay still they won't move now to make things more easier to see i already separate my rigid bodies into two different layers in my scene in this one we only have the active as you can see they fall down because of the force of gravity and in this one we only have the passive rigid bodies they stay still and they don't move they don't move except for these two objects, this sphere and this cube. Now, this cube is parented to this sphere and it inherits its movement. If I select this sphere, you can see in the graph editor it has several keys on its transition properties. But this sphere, it is also a rigid body. And this is because in the rigid body property page i can select the type and it's a passive this means it will not be influenced by external forces but i can select this checkbox that say it can be animated and this is a very powerful option because in this way i can have one object that i can move in the way i want animating it and that it will still behave like a rigid body have to do it will collide and interact into the simulation okay let's go back to the camera view for one moment and i want to explain you why i use this object for this simulation the problem was that when my friend alberto hit the ground with his fist i want to give the effect that the simulation starts from the impact point and then goes far from him 
and the crux gives the illusion that is opening in time and it it goes to the other friend of mine that is running for his life escaping the danger and to do this we have this simple problem to solve i show you this by selecting the cube and deleting its rigid body properties if we now play the simulation again you see that as soon as the simulation start all the active rigid bodies start to force down together and at the same time and this doesn't give us the effect that we want you see that it's not the same so if we go back to the first frame and select the cube and give him back its rigid body properties we select rigid body type from active we choose passive we check this box that say it can be animated and then down here we select the two layers where we have all our rigid bodies during the simulation this is very powerful you, you can select different collision groups and have different uh, environment interacting together in the same scene maybe you don't want that this uh, group of objects interact with this one or something like this this you using this it, you can achieve very interesting effect but going back to our scene if i play again now you see that now this cube is preventing the rigid bodies the active rigid bodies from falling down at the same time as soon as the simulation start because he is acting like an obstacle for them but because he is moving together with the sphere while he is moving he is letting the free space to them to fall down giving the illusion that the crack is forming in time moving uh, following the the distance oh, okay sorry for my english but i think you get the the point here so in this way i achieved this result okay guys let's stop here for today i hope you like this tutorial in spite of my bad english and let me know if you would like to learn about some other aspect of this work or other project from us i will be happy to make a tutorial based on your request when it's possible thanks so much for watching keep following us on our youtube channel and consider subscribing if you liked our works see you next time ciao